Hi, this is Chippy from UMC Portal. I'm just testing out the new release of Ubuntu Mid Edition, they call it. Uh, this is something brand new. This is not Ubuntu Mobile for what, what I call MIDs, the five, four to five inch uh, devices based on the uh, Intel Atom. And it's not Ubuntu Remix, which we saw earlier in the year for um, uh, the netbooks. This is actually a version of Hardy. 8 point, uh, Ubuntu 8.1 repackaged with a GNOME user interface and uh, Oliver Gravitz, the guy from Canonical that's put this together just released it today and um, I'm actually booting for the first time now from a USB stick it's a 2 gig USB stick let's uh, zoom in on that uh, which is going to boot a live version of the of the software. Uh, what they've done is basically taken a standard Ubuntu build, st stripped it down a little bit, and made a user interface and touchscreen capability and Wi-Fi um, drivers built in for the Q1 Ultra. Now the idea is the Q1 Ultra is the first device that they build it on, and that they will actually adapt it for. Uh, other devices as time time goes on, as, as users feedback, as uh, new devices uh, come into the market. So it's about one gig in size, or rather the image was. I downloaded it from, let me give you the uh, uh, address, it's people.ubuntu.com slash tilde O-G-R-A slash mobile. So that's people.ubuntu.com slash tilde ogra slash mobile and you'll see it's called Ubuntu Mobile Edition uh, and touchscreen based handheld mid devices with seven to nine inch screens in Ubuntu Intrepid that's oh, sorry I said hardy it's Ubuntu Intrepid uh, version 8.1 uh, based on GNOME without many modifications it says here on the website so um, the idea is to get this into uh, get fixes for later releases and um, get it into upstream distribution I think I don't quite understand that but anyway it's just booting up now let's zoom in a little bit now I am expecting to see touchscreen uh, working out the box so let's try and yes the touchscreen is working you can see if I zoom in you can see the mouse pointer moving so let's have a look see what the UI is like. This is the first time I've booted it up so you're going to have to bear with me while I um, play around with it and trying to get rid of some of that uh, shadow there as well. So the familiar brown Ubuntu but the layout is obviously very different. There are touches of Ubuntu Mobile in there already. I can see up the top right here of the icons seem quite similar. We've got a work area here in the middle. It looks like there's a taskbar or something happening down the, the left hand side here. Um, not completely intuitive as to what I might do now but let's uh, go top left and yep the menu is there. Um, so first things we need to do I guess are see if things are working. So brightness is working this is good, this is really good. Oops, let's bring that up again. Um, we've got volume control up here. Um, it shows that it's on power. And what have we got here in the middle section? Ah, okay, it's picked up wireless networks. Oh, this is great because I can go straight in without having to worry about anything now. This has been a problem with Ubuntu Mobile and other builds that I've tried before. Nothing has ever really worked completely. So uh, let's try connecting and see if that works. And then we'll bring up the browser, which uh, is probably this one here. It's connected to the Wi-Fi, so that's uh, working straight away. Web browser starting up. And we've got what looks like the... Firefox based browser let's get rid of these notifiers Firefox based browser from Ubuntu um, yeah from um, Ubuntu Mobile the original one for MID so of course we can go straight in here and search that's going to search oh yeah, here we go great stuff it's working well 
Uh, have we got grab and drag? Yes, we've got grab and drag. And dra grab and drag. Um, so obviously, oh, that's nice. The oh, very good. And we've got file system down here, perhaps. Oh, I, I see. This is the actual um, kind of a taskbar. So things are running here. So let's see what other apps we've got to build in. Sound of a video. We've got a movie player there. Uh, Office. We've got Open Office. We've got Mozilla Thunderbird, Pigeon Instant Messenger, uh, Terminal Server Client, so, so that's remote, remote desktop and stuff like that. Graphics, we've got GIMP, uh, Office.org Drawer, a uh, load of games, accessories. Um, well, let's go into the terminal and see exactly what this baby is looking like in terms of footprint. So, DF. Um, oh, of course, it's running from that's to the top. It's running from um, a flash at the moment, but in terms of memory, it's taking about 735 meg of my one gig in this device, most of which is being taken up by mm, what looks like yeah, X Windows. So, in terms of footprint, it's, not, it's a bit fatter than uh, XP. I like the way you can click between these applications very quickly, that's good. Let's fire up uh, Thunderbird. This is really good that everything is just working out of the box. This is the first uh, Linux distribution that I've tried that's worked out of the box and has been end user usable, if you know what I mean. Um, Ubuntu Mobile previously wasn't an end user device, so okay, this is Thunderbird. I'm going to exit the, the wizard. So of course we can switch now between these three applications. Um, I'm going to have a play around with this. Uh, let's t uh, to see if I can get stuff downloaded from. Ah, oh, there's a pa oh, great. There's a, even a package manager here. This is looking excellent. So I should be able to download things like Skype. Uh, list of values out of date. So we need to reload that. So I get back to. You. Uh, in a few minutes once I've uh, had a little play around with this, but uh, first impressions are this could be quite a usable system for uh, UMPCs uh, if, you ha if you don't want to run uh, Vista um, and you haven't got, uh, or you don't want to run XP it will be really interesting to see if it works on something like the Kojinsha SC3 uh, whether they've built in the Atom CPU and Pulsebo support it would be fantastic if they'd done that. I'm going to try that on the SC3 after this. Anyway, I'll get back to you soon with the second part of this video. Back soon.